My name's Yi and I'm a senior strategist at Cold Wall. Um, today for Best in Show, I decided to choose this look from our Spring Summer 19 show, Human, Form and Structure. Um, I think I would probably want to start off um, by speaking a bit more about why those three components for us were so core cool to um, the Spring Summer 19 show. So Human, of course, is you know, that really forms the social commentary side of a Cold War. It's really, you know, using apparel in a way that starts that conversation for us. Um, form in the sense of, you know, finding different ways to like recontextualize existing um, silhouettes of things like that. Um, obviously this look really shows that quite evidently. And in terms of um, structure, that's really, um, I guess the design element that we have at a Cold War and using more of a architecture tone and Samuel's, you know, focus on product that, you know, really allows us to um, incorporate different architecture disciplines into apparel. Um, so the reason I chose this look is that, you know, it really shows for us the evolution of a brand. I started working with um, Samuel, Andrew, Jennifer and Josh when it was just a team of about four or five of us and at that point you know all those three elements we were working hard on but at that point it was more focused on you know hand dyeing a piece of t-shirt or a long sleeve in Samuel's studio and trying to achieve that pepper dash cream colour that referenced you know the Brutus architecture of council estates. We're in a position where now we're able to like explore a multitude of you know different products and different fabrications and things like that that you know we, we didn't have the opportunity to do previously. Um, so I guess the first thing just wanted to focus on is um, obviously the outerwear piece. So this is where, you know, parts of that human element comes into it. Um, Samuel's use of fabrication is really what's core and it's really what builds on his roots of um, his upbringing, you know, growing up in a working class household in London and outside of London, the use of like plastic and really like coarse fabric fabrics really informs the design. For us, it's always to make sure that, you know, the design is quite democratic and we're using different fabrications that, you know, are accessible, um, I guess, to that same narrative, you know, really on the cusp of, you know, drawing from your inspiration, but not just letting that inspiration end there, but also making sure it evolves and making sure it lives on. Um, obviously you can see um, this jacket really highlights how we're bridging the gap between avant-garde and utility and really finding that new space to exist within. Um, design for us is obviously um, intellectual. And you can see that in the different elements at play that Samuel has used here. Um, you know, the invisible zips that are being like on the nylon bottom, the zips that are detachable on the outerwear piece, like the metal cords that hook it all together. Um, something like this, which is focused on more of the avant-garde, but then going back to like our roots of like a nylon bottom, you know, referencing like Samuel's like childhood and all of ours, like having just like really basic Nike, like nylon tracksuit bottoms, but obviously now recontextualize it in um, a different space and a different element. So for this one, what's so crucial to it is really um, the introduction of um, the piping detail and the different curves that are introducing it. So again, you know, introducing curves that I guess are not really linked traditionally to masculinity and obviously to a pant as well and really challenging, you know, what that silhouette and what that shape of a trouser can be. Um, the same thing as well for us that you can see that architecture references that we haven't quite shook from even the days where we used to hand dye those t-shirts to now how we're really pushing the boundary of how we work with leather bags. Each bag actually you can see the sculptural element of it and you can see how they really stand on its own. Um, I chose this bag personally as well because it really signifies our focus on London and the UK. So a production element of it, you know, we worked on it previously in Italy and things like that. But what we found was that, you know, there was a group of um, artisans that we actually work with in Hackney and they were the team that, you know, could execute different crazy shapes and structures like we have here. And for us as a young emerging British brand, it's also important, uh, important for us that we make sure that a portion of production act 
actually stays within London and the UK. Um, and I guess the last part that we decided to include here is um, the Nike shoes that we have here. And what, what we have here really for us signifies this journey that we've been on for the past few years. And I'm um, working with someone like Nike and really having this design that embodies, you know, all those three elements that we have. What Samuel was really exploring with um, the shoe is this notion of humanity and about having inanimate objects have a life to it. So it was all about making sure that there was aging and there was a life cycle process to um, the shoe. So something like this in the UV coating actually changes color. Um, and then obviously, you know, you have the architectural element at the back of the shoe, um, which is quite a brutalist shape for us. So different elements of the look for me highlights, obviously the journey that we've had together as a brand, um, you know, with the Nike shoe, working with Nike, um, the different elements of like the trousers and even like the production story that we have with um, the bag are why this look is super personal to us.